If you're addicted to Splatoon, like I am, you may be looking to play better than where you're currently at. Well, while I'm not here to give you specific weapon or movement strats, I am here to give you gear strats, specifically in the ability department. Although a lot of Splatoon is based upon strategy and teamwork, another important aspect of Splatoon is your gear and abilities that they provide you with. These abilities can enhance performance and give you an edge over other players, different weapon or not. However, getting the abilities that you want or even a gear with all three or four abilities on it matching can be incredibly difficult. That's the purpose of this video. So taking the resources, pointing out strats, and communicating with two people that have publicized these, here is a guide featuring two methods that you can take to get the perfect gear or at least the gear that you want. The first method we'll be talking about is quite easy, but it requires sea snails. So if you use them already, then you'll need to wait for the next Splatfest. More importantly, credit where credit is due. I found out about this method from Splatoon player Ryanator. Their YouTube channel focuses on Splatoon clips and gameplay, and that's how I originally found out about this method. So the links to them will be down in the description. So thank you to Ryan for allowing me to feature your strat here, add on some information to it, and allowing me to call it the Save Our Snails method, or SOS method. As the title of Ryan's video states, in Splatoon 3, there is a way to get the gear you want without using any sea snails. What you need to do is roll a fully slotted piece of gear that you'd like to change. Then, before any other confirmation, on the screen showing the new abilities and the previous ability chunks that dropped, you need to quickly screenshot and close the game. Load back in and notice that you still have a sea snail and your gear didn't change at all. The reason why is because the game saves after the screen. So scratch all of this. Nintendo updated the game on October 25th as I was working on the video and the game now saves once you press roll. You can't do this method anymore. Don't try it, it will save right when you press reroll. On to the next method that still works, the gear seed method. Now, how this was figured out? I have no idea. But what I do know is that we have Lean Yoshi on Twitter to thank for finding this out. They've developed a website that not only provides you with what your seed is, but also a database for all other aspects of Splatoon 3. Their links will be down below and the two links that you'll need for this method will also be there. They both Gear Seed, Recovery, and Gear Seed Checker. And I'll also add in Lean's original written tutorial. Now, this method will require keeping track of your gear's brand and abilities, so it'd be best to open the notes tab on your computer or phone to keep track. While this can be done with any piece of gear, I'll be using my clean Takaraka Slag Marine slip-ons for this showcase. We're not going to see what my upcoming abilities are with the SOS method, we're just going to go straight in. So after playing a match or two, the first ability I get is Ink Saver Main. Play some more matches, level up again. Quick respawn. Okay, so my hopes of getting perfect Ink Saver Main easily are squashed, but let's continue. My third ability, Special Charge Up. Not bad, I usually aim to use my special as much as possible when I play. So we have my first three abilities written down. Now let's insert them into the gear checker. After inputting the brand, whether you had a drink active, in which case I didn't, and the ability that you acquired, a list of seeds that my gear possibly could be will appear. And as you can see, these are a lot of possibilities. We'll need to narrow this down by getting more abilities. Rather than play more matches, I'll use my sea snails to roll my gear. Remember, ability drinks don't affect rolls. So don't mark the drink with those abilities if you had one active. After one roll, ink save remain, special saver, and sub power up. We input these into the seed recovery, check for our seed, still not enough to narrow down, roll once more, next abilities are quick super jump, ink saver sub, and special charge up, and put it into the seed recovery, and we've narrowed it down to one seed, 0x349b7644. Moving over to the gear checker site, if we input the seed and the gear's brand, we'll be given a list of abilities. This list is a list of all the abilities that this specific gear will get, in order. The checker tells us that our next three abilities will be sub power up, special charge up, special charge up. I roll, and there it is. Our seed has now changed to 0x3a9bfced. Remember that. The seed then changes to the last acquired slash dropped ability. This doesn't mean your lineup of abilities will then change to a completely new one, just that the seed has changed. So make sure you save your gear with the website's gear database, which Lean just added in a new update. With this, you can save all of the different gear and their seeds that you're using this method for and update their seeds through the seed checker. 
So, just to move forward with my Slag Marine slip-ons, I continued to roll until I saw a chance for perfect gear. And what do you know, in my future, we can see a triple special charge-up. I rolled to that, finally acquired it, and now these are my personal Slag Marine slip-ons. But, we're not done here, as the gear seat checker can also tell you what your lineup of abilities will be if you use any of the drinks. All you have to do is change the drink, see what you get, and if you like what you see, go play the game. Additionally, while your future list of abilities have changed due to Drake's influence, your previous list isn't technically gone. So, going back to my Slag Marine slip-ons, here is my current seed without a drink active. You can see my next few abilities are going to be Run Speed Up, Special Charge Up, Ink Recovery Up, Special Charge Up, Ink Saver Sub, Special Saver, and Special Charge Up. Now, when I activate the Super Jump Drink, Citrus Hip Hopper, my lineup of ability changes to this. Ink Saver Main, Quick Super Jump, Special Charge Up, Quick Super Jump, Special Charge Up, Quick Super Jump. I level up with my piece of gear and the next ability I get is indeed an Ink Saver Main, just as listed. Then, when a drink runs out, it then alters to my previous list that I had before I took the drink. But with one thing to take notice of, if we pay attention specifically to the seed section of the checker and compare the upcoming seeds, notice that the seed in slot 1 of my non-drink list moves up to slot 0 in my active drink list. I was confused about this myself, so when I asked Lean why was this the case, they said, Use a good drink either skips the seed when the drink does not work, or if it works, it uses the seed. So, while the lineup of the abilities once you get off the drink will return to normal, activating a drink will skip the next ability you would have gotten. So keep that in mind if your next immediate ability is something that you want. Finally, just like the SOS method, adding an ability via chunks will not alter the current or future seed and abilities that you get. And that's it. Those are two guides to getting the perfect gear or the gear that you want in Splatoon 3. Will Nintendo update the game to actually make ability rolls based upon probability or RNG? I'm not sure. But in the meantime, I think it's best for you to take advantage of these methods before they do. Thank you for watching. Once again, the links of the original sources and websites will be in the description. And always remember to return to the source.